I'm out here in the garden trying to finish prepping it for fall. Um, what we have <clears throat> down here so far is we put um, these wood chips, kind of. They're not really what you would think of when you think of ordering a thing of wood chips because that's not what we did. These wood chips we got because um, my husband was involved in a wood cutting activity and they had just a ton of this left and they scooped it all up into bags and there's some little rocks in here and whatnot, chunks of bark. But we said we'd take the bags so we've spread that out over the garden, I don't know how thick down a little ways um, just tried to make it go as far as it could and then I've got some of our grass that we cut so we live in a meadow so we cut down the grass and we use it as um, bedding in the uh, the chicken run the goat run and so we've raked that out a couple times now in fact the the woods down over top of some of it and we've raked that out and I'm kind of finishing spreading out this part of it. The chickens are out here helping. <laughs> and um, we're going to hopefully get some more of it before our first snow. And hi, baby. That's our first chicken that ever laid eggs for us. Um, but we're going to get it all laid out so that the, the snow, we get a lot of snow, we'll cover it and it'll just kind of sit there over the winter and hopefully break down. It's already started breaking down if you dig down a little ways. And um, so it's going to break down and hopefully give us much healthier, richer soil. I spread some wood ash out here from our fires this last winter. Some of it blew away. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, but this kind of gray area down here, it kind of blew away some. <laughs> but that's all right. There's still a fair amount of it left. I can hear the kids coming. Kurt's out here doing some projects too. It's overcast, but it's nice out. It's like 60 degrees or something, and so we're trying to get stuff done. But so there's some wood ash that'll break down. There's manure rich grasses that are going to break down, and there's some wood chips. Um, we started throwing our compost bucket out here for the chickens to come out and pick at, and then anything that they leave will also sit here and break down. So I'm really hoping in the spring. Good job, little buck. Sex link. Good job, girl, because <laughs> they weren't coming out here for a while and I was getting stressed out because I wanted them to come out and mess it up and help the process along. So they're coming out now, pecking at things, and I mean, you can see them. They're all out here having a good time. It's not as big as I wanted. I feel like it's not a very big garden. I don't know how big it is, but it goes from about there down to right in here. Um, I'd like it to be bigger than I did start to extend it out a few feet here. You can see where I put the wood ash. And next time we get a load of um, compost stuff, I've, or yeah, from the from the goat pen, I've got to put it along here just so it extends out. And um, hopefully that'll help. But the girls are out here doing a good job. The kids are over on the other side of the yard picking up rocks. We have some piles of rocks. And so we're picking them up and putting it on the driveway in some low spots that we have so that it's not taking up space in the grass. And I'll have to go over there and show you kind of what we're trying to do. Kurt's over here pulling tea posts Because we were going to put, we're going to put the chickens in here and I let about five of them in. And they just kind of ran in when I opened the door because I just fed the turkeys. Oh, do you have some fence? Good job, buddy. So we'd let them in just to see how they do with the turkeys and the little ones did fine but the big one he got mad at one of them pinned him down with one claw and bit the top of her head bad enough that it drew blood she was okay but it did draw blood just a minute baby and so they can't really be in here with him he's just too big they didn't grow up together um and he's gonna be thanksgiving dinner anyway so we're hoping to make a separate smaller pen just for him for the next month or so before we um dispatch him that way we can give him lots of food to kind of help him fatten up and I would like to put the chickens in here with the two younger ones because the chickens are about the same size as them right now and I want them to bond so come spring they're all friends and maybe they'll stay together instead of the turkeys taking off which is what they do right now if we let them out <laughs> Mom. I took him some apples what do you have bud Okay, you show me.
That does work. That's very nice. That was working. The farm jack. We didn't have a T post puller, so Kurt got a good deal on a farm jack, and then he had to rig it up to where it would work to pull out T posts. But he got it all rigged up. How did I don't know? Daddy's just he just did it. Look at that. The T post is out. You just want to pull out all the T posts, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Kurt got all of the milk crates cut for the um, nesting boxes. He found a stash of eggs back behind the house <laughs> that one of the girls had been like. How many eggs was it that you found? Five. Five eggs stashed behind the house behind a bike. Mom. Yes, baby. This is a T post. T post, yeah. Dad, Hello, girls. Uh, Hi, babies. I don't have food up here for you. I just don't. Sorry. Yep. Since we want pretty deep litter in here for the chickens, we're just going to keep adding to it. I was going to come in and try to scrape this out, but I'm not sure I'm going to because they didn't get as much put in here this fall as I have the goat shed so or the goat pen so I don't think I will I think I'll just leave it probably hey mercy and I've got to come in here and scrape this out again probably one more time Ugh, and the chickens have been roosting up here and it is disgusting it is totally disgusting up there yeah all right so I'm gonna go see See about what I want to do next. There's tons of stuff to do outside, and I'm kind of tired, but it's a nice day to get stuff done. Oh, Tansy, get down. All right, so here's the piles of rocks right in here. There's, I mean, they're just everywhere. The kids are picking them up. I'm picking them up. We're using a shovel for some of it. There's a lot, and I don't want it over here. It's very rocky over here. And here's where we're putting them. We're stumping them in the driveway to fill in the ruts. Um, hopefully it'll help stall on having to get a little gravel up here for the driveway. Are you riding a goat? Yeah. She might not love that. <laughs> and then we're spreading all this bark out throughout here to help break down. And you want to wet ride Cora? She's not going to like that. And um, we're spreading all this bark out. Because in this section of our yard, you're going to hold on to her horns? I'm not sure that's a great idea. <laughs> He's not going to catch her. Um, so we have a big pile up here of bark that um, the previous owner left. And so we're bringing it down here. He was going to take it and do something with it, but he's got tons of bark at his house now. And it's just breaking down up there. So we're going to spread it all out throughout here. Um hopefully help the soil improve eh, nice lemon because we'd really like to do our fruit trees over here but there has been a lot of rock dumped over here so it'll take a bit of work and we're probably not going to do it this summer maybe next fall or in the spring we'll next spring not this coming we'll see sweetie she doesn't want to be ridden He really likes Cora. He says that Cora is his goat. I don't think she wants to do that, though, sweet. Hey, a nice bird. A nice bird? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> I just came and dumped out the rocks. I've got to take that over to the goat pen and get the, the grass out. Okay, I'm going to go back over by the goat pen, though, because I've got stuff to, to do. Because I've got stuff to do. No, 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 to the goat pen. Okay, you're going to help me. Yes. Where's the pitchfork? It should just be in the garage. I look. Ask Ruben if he knows where it is more specifically. Alright, I'll, I'll put you in and you can write, okay? One sec. <laughs> oh, thanks, bud. That was huge and you carried it all by yourself. Yeah. Are you a big helper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What was, 
What's this? Oh, this is the pitchfork I was waiting for. Mommy's gonna come help Daddy. Okay. Are you gonna come too? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Miss Tansy. All right. So, got a little bit of the siding done here. We need to take that brush off before we can finish. This is old. I don't know if you saw the vlog that we got all the wood in. So this is old fence, but it's like 30 year old fence. Um, I don't know what they're called, fence boards. <laughs> um, so we're just putting them on there and chopping off the ends. So we got that, we've got two pallets stacked in there so they have a raised surface to sleep on if they want to. Goats like that. And I'll bring you around to the back. Hello chicken and other chicken. <laughs> These holes are from Mercy digging them the um, pen was back here and then we moved it so then along the back here we have the posts or they're not posts guys they're just boards we've got a few gaps like we put this board along where there was a gap and we put a couple little chunks along spots so it'll work bless you and this palette already had a side on it so we just took these partial rounds, I don't know what they're called. But we had some chunks of those hands, and we put those along that edge. We've gotta finish up that one. We've gotta get into the nest, nesting boxes and purchase first. We have the purchase cut, we just have to, not purchase. We have the nesting boxes cut. <laughs> we just have to finish up with those. Um, get everything in. We have one perch that'll work, and then we have to get another one. We've got some more of these fence boards. This is the rest of them. Hopefully it'll finish the goat shed. Um, I'd love it if we had more, honestly. I mean, they're not super high quality, but they work. But we are really grateful for the ones that we do have. Hi, baby. Thatcher just came out and fed the turkey, so they're eating. The chickens have eaten. The goats have eaten yours. There's some apples and leaves in there if they want them. Hi, baby. How are you? And hello to you, too. So... It's getting kind of cold. It started to rain. The sun seems like maybe it's trying to come back out again, but it's dinner time. So we're going to go in and make dinner and hopefully have a game plan for this weekend. It's my birthday this Saturday and we don't have anything special planned. We're not going to go on a date or do anything. We're just going to try to get projects done. Um, getting projects done and getting kind of that stress of not having them done off my shoulders is a good gift. Plus, Kurt ordered me a new camera. Hopefully, that'll get here soon. And that's an awesome gift, too, because this one has issues. I don't know if you've noticed there's a blurry spot, like, right in the middle. It's because my toddler used to scratch the lens open. Hi, baby. Hey, I don't have food for you. And so there's a blur. And it'd be nice to have a nicer one, especially with doing the Modern Mountain Women episodes. I really would like to be able to capture these wonderful women with just a nicer, less cruddy camera. Anyways, I'm just getting rambly because I'm tired and cold. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. You are. <laughs> Hi, baby.